What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Brandon Coin YouTube channel. I hope everybody's having a great day and we have some more Varus mining content. I figured uh, I have a couple different systems and I would just test them out and see how they do mining Varus coin because some of them are a little bit, I don't want to say more obscure, but just less common as like a, a regular desktop setup. And one of them is, I'm, it's not this actual computer I'm sitting at, but I'm remoted into it. It's my Xeon, my old main Xeon system, which my screen just went blank there. Um, there we go. So my old main Xeon system has a uh, Xeon E5-2670 V3. So this is a 12 core, 24 thread CPU with a base speed of 2.3 gigahertz and an all core turbo at 2.6 gigahertz that it's currently running at. Um, so let me flip this around and show you what kind of mining speed or mining performance it's getting on Varus uh, because spoiler alert, it's not great but it, it's something. All right, so here is the chip in question. I'm not doing anything else on this computer other than remoting into it, so it, it's not using much resources for anything other than actually mining. Um, so it's that 2670 V3, it's the 12 core, 24 thread, and I have it set to use 23 threads, and we are using the Varus Coin Miner, and when nothing else is going on, we're getting about 13.5 mega hash. That's because each thread's doing about 0.67 mega hash. Now, 13.5 mega hash, that's, you know, that's decent. That's like two cell phones, two, two decent cell phones mining. But here's, the, here's the, the problem. Those two cell phones that would be mining would be, you know, burning somewhere in the range of 10 to 20 watts. This is a 120 watt CPU. So this, for the same amount of hash power as two cell phones, we're burning somewhere in the range of like, you know, 10 to 12 cell, cell phones worth of power. Uh, so it is, it is significant, if not maybe even a little bit more. And 10 to 12 cell phones would net you, you know, 70 to 80 plus mega hash. So around, what, six, seven times, you know, less efficient than mining on cell phones. So that's just something to take into account here. Now, if you are interested in these because they're cheap, um, they are cheap, but cell phones are also cheap as well. Let me see, there we go. Um, so it doesn't make any sense to run out and buy these 12 core Xeons. I do have some other Xeons. I am gonna be testing an 18 and a 20 core and to see if those do better. They also have different base speeds and also different caches. The cache on this one is 768 kilobytes on L1, 3 megabytes on L2, and 30 megabytes on L3. Apparently, uh, Varus Coin likes cache and it likes cores. So more cores is better, but you got to have the cache to go with them. Because, for example, the these cores are doing 0 0.6, whereas my Ryzen 7 5700, those cores were doing like, I think like 1.5 to 1.7. So almost triple the amount of performance on those cores just because um, I believe the 5700 has more cash and just and better efficiency overall. So lower lower power chip. But yeah, so if you guys are interested in seeing some more Varus Coin content, we are mining on the Varus Coin uh, community pool, which let me get that pulled up. So this is the Varus Coin Jellyfish community pool. We're at uh, 2.8 giga hash. We've had a bunch of people come online within the last couple of days and um, we're able to smash some blocks. So current effort, 29%. Average effort was really high because we were having some bad luck when we first started, but we had super low hash rate. So our average effort's actually been coming down uh, day after day. We were at 300% yesterday, we're at 200% today. I imagine we'll get it down into the 100% range and get it, you know, hopefully at or under 100% maybe in the next week or so if uh, we can get this hash rate or even more hash rate online. So if you're interested in joining uh, in our community and also coming over to the, the Varus Coin um, community pool, then there is a section called My Links down below. Click on that and then go to the Discord. Oh, hey guys, my monitor is really dirty. Um, go to the Discord and then you can find the information or you can go to varus.jellyfc.com or jellyfc.com and go to Mining Pools. Lots of ways to, to find it there. Um, 
what was the last thing i don't remember but anyway with that being said i'll catch you guys on the flip side oh i wanted to go over profitability let's see here hold on um where was it i had it pulled up there we go varus coin mining calculator so 13 mega hash is going to net you 0 0.0438 varus coin per day or about 11 cents so that 120 watts is burning uh how much power 120 watts bring this over here times 24 hours divided by a thousand that's 2.8 kilowatts times i'm at 13 cents in the summertime it's burning 37 cents a day and it is only making 11 cents so we are losing 26 cents a day if you were to mine this and sell this daily obviously i'm not mining and selling i'm just mining and holding um, i'm not gonna leave this computer mining because it doesn't make sense efficiency wise and uh i'm just doing this for the test so to speak so we're gonna be testing out some more chips so stay tuned for that if you have any recommendations or things that you want to see drop it down below and we'll get those tested as well anyway guys y'all have a good one i'll see you on the flip side adios